Hi everyone, and welcome to Propeller Ads. Our video guides continue, and today we are going to discuss the in-page push campaign launch. From these fresh series, you will find out what is in-page push and how is it different from classic push? How to set up every layer of your campaign, including pricing model, budget, targeting, scheduling, creatives, and other parameters. How to make your campaign more profitable. By the way, make sure not to miss our previous video guides on interstitials, pop under, and classic push notifications. You will find the links in the right upper corner. And as always, we will launch a campaign to show you the first results. But let's start with the beginning and find out what in-page push is. In simple words, in-page push is a traffic type within your push campaign. In-page push works perfectly for iOS and macOS, which means that there are no platform restrictions for it. That's right. And this is the main difference between in-page push and classic push notifications. The first one allows you to target more users, even those with MacBooks and iPhones. This has always been an issue for advertisers. Indeed, you just couldn't reach them with standard ad formats. Now you can. And here is how the in-page push notification looks on the Mac OS device. As you can see, in-page push looks pretty much similar to classic push, but it doesn't require subscriptions. In-page push notifications are displayed on the publisher's website as banners. Users can either close it or press more to check what you have to offer. The CTR of in-page push notifications is even higher than classic push usually shows. The reason is simple. Visitors are already on the page when an in-page push notification appears, so it is really hard for them to overlook it. Here are some statistics to compare. You can find in-page push in the traffic types section of your Propeller Ads account. Pick push notifications as advertising format and tick in-page push notifications type. Here is a quick tip. You may launch two parallel campaigns for push and in-page push to get maximal profit. Just make sure to separate these formats without mixing them in one campaign. You should divide in-page push and classic push because they perform differently and users' reactions vary regarding the format. With separation, you will get more precise statistics, namely CTR, CPA, user activity, and other variables. Okay, now you know the basics, so stay tuned and come back for more videos to become a real in-page push expert. Next time, we will show how to set a target URL and a pricing model, namely the high-tech CPA goal. But no spoilers, stay with Propeller and watch our series. Leave your comments and push the bell to subscribe to our channel. Keep up with the latest updates and don't miss the hottest videos from us. See you soon.